in Italy. Look at this. We're in a gondola. We couldn't leave Italy without getting a gelato. Welcome to Italy. We're in the airport. We're at Napoli or Naples and we are waiting for our bag. We just landed from Athens. If you guys are new here, hi, my name's Adele. I post vlogs, I post a lot on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. I also have a podcast, a TikTok, and Instagram. Come and follow me everywhere. Leave me a comment, join the family. If you're part of the family already, I love you. Thank you for being part of the family. Now, we are going to the Amalfi Coast, and I'm so excited, I'm feeling better, and I love Italy, and oh, I'm just so happy to be here. Hi. Hello, we have arrived. We have arrived. Oh. Ciao. Out of a dance, Dad's always comes first. Oh, there's mine. There's Mum's, and there's mine. We're in the car with the suitcase in here because it doesn't fit in the boot. Better than it hanging out the back. He's so cute. I love, love this man. Him. We are here in Positano. You have to go back up this hill. We just checked. Well, we can't check in. We just dropped our bags. I'll give you a tour of the place. She gave us a map. I'd be taking my map, tourist to Dell. We're gonna go get some food right now and then we're gonna go swim because it is hot. It is sweaty, a bad day to wear t-shirt sleeves. Oh yeah. Very bad day. And my sunglasses are in the other bag. <laughs> Look at this. Can you believe that you're here? No, I can't. Have you ever seen such a beautiful view? No, it is amazing. Look at that, look at that cave, how the water runs down the rocks here. I don't know where it's coming from, but that's old. It's beautiful. Bitch. I'm not doing the fish yet. I feel yucky. These little clams are called vongole and they're it's my favourite. And mum and I actually ordered the exact same thing. And then look, I love them already. They bought us bread in this little basket. I'm obsessed. Our first meal in Italy, and I can assure you, we loved it. Mm -hmm. it was slow. We all cleaned our plates. I was so hungry, I needed that so badly. I'm now going to show you guys where we're staying because it is oh, so sweet. I'm obsessed. I'm so happy that we're here. Pinch me. This is our local bus stop here. And just look at the detail, right? These pots have been painted. There is a fountain as well, where if you want fresh drinking water, you can. Oh, mum's gonna wash her hands. Yes. No, I'm gonna drink. Oh, are you? Yeah, look, watch. Oh. <laughs> is it awesome? Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, do you want some? Oh. I'll do my own here. We need to get a bottle, guys. That is beautiful. Did you turn it off? Look at this, on the, on the street, little, Flower pots. Oh, they're, they're Carla's ones, they're marigolds. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they are too. Yeah, they're look, just the side of the wall. Even look at this. How they do their street numbers. What the hell? Look at this door. So cute. 278. It's just beautiful. And this is where we're staying. Florida residence. Look, we even have a tap here. So cute. I love all the ceramics. It's just so pretty. I'll see if I can show you guys the like, cats that belong to this place. And look at the view. All right, let's check into our room. This is our room. That's my bed, mum and dad's bed. Can you sleep there? Thank you. And our balcony. Look how cute the little tables are down there. Even that one. Anyway, how stunning. So cute. Following our trusty map and we're going down to the beach. We actually love it here. It's so beautiful. Mum, isn't this just so cute? It's the cutest thing ever. The attention to detail and everything. <gasps> There's the water. Stop, look. Look at this on the walls. Aww. What goes around comes around. Keep your circle positive. Say good words, think good thoughts, do good deeds. That's beautiful. May your week be filled with good thoughts. Be kind to people and happy moments. We're going to Spiaja Beach. There's lots of stairs. We made it! It's a rock beach. 
This is amazing. Look at this. I low key regret bringing the camera, but we're in Italy. Yeah, I'm at I'm at Boob Height of the water. Oh my god, this is amazing. Mum's dunked her head. Oh, still, you go put that camera down. I will. I will. We ordered fresh watermelon. Who would like this? Let's see if it tastes as good as it is. Dripping down my hand. Our beach day is done. We're waiting for the water taxi. I had to go on this pier that is man-made. I mean, all piers are man-made, but it's wobbling and I'm scared of heights and I'm scared of piers. And I feel like I'm gonna fall in the cracks. I'll show you. It's wobbly as shit. Look. Anyway, that's where we went. This place over here. It's so cute. We're on a water taxi now. I feel like hey. Oh, you're fucking up. Wow. Who wouldn't love this? Who wouldn't? That was a mission and a half. We had to catch the bus. There's a bus service around here. My hair isn't sweaty. Well, it is sweaty, but it's a bit wet from the ocean. Anyway. Also did grocery shopping. Also bought these fans. Let me show you. Mum got them. I know we have the other ones from Greece, but I really wanted the lemon ones. So one for me, one for her. Thank you so much, Mum. And then we have pistachios, lemon biscuits, lemon wafers, some pretzels. And I also have fruit and milk, which I bought in there. And everyone's hot and sweaty because that was... Very hard. How cute are the other tiles in the bathroom? I'm about to have a shower. So, so sweet. And then we've got it over here. And there's a bidet in here as well, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, bidet, everybody. Time to get ready for dinner. How cute is this top? I got this from Addicted as well. Same place as the yellow dress. Put it on with some white shorts. It's actually corset at the back. Thank you, Mum, for doing this up for me. Here is a better look. Oh. It's cute. It's kind of giving Sailor Moon. I'm so sorry if you're foggy, but let me show you this view because I can't believe I'm here. Let me get out of it. Let me just show you the view. I cannot believe I'm here. I wanted to come here last time and I didn't and I'm loving it. Honestly, low-key tempted to cancel the rest of the holiday and just stay in Positano because I love it here. That's a wrap on the first day in Italy guys. I'm so tired after our early wake up today for Athens airport and I'm gonna go to bed. I'm in my PJs, dinner was really good, taking my medicine, feeling a lot better and yeah, I'm excited to show you what we do tomorrow. Good night. I just woke up, I haven't brushed my teeth, I've run out because look, can you see the sunrise? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Sorry, I'm half asleep still. Wow. I'm awake now. I'm about to film a morning get ready with me. And it just doesn't get better than this because look, I'm on TikTok. I'm excited and pinch me. All right, it's breakfast time. This is the vibe because we're going on the boat today. Mum, I'll need the seasickness. Anyway, how cute is this bikini? We're gonna go and eat. Let's quickly go. Oh my God, the breakfast is so cute. A beautiful buffet. Look at all the figs. We got egg, bacon, sausage, cereals, pancakes. I'm gonna have some pancakes. Oh my god, mom, this, this is, is cute. So cute. Pancake brekkie for mom and I. We're both gonna have pancakes with some jam on them. 
of course our Nescafe. They just helped us make them and they were like, what the hell? But they're so sweet here. It's like a little uh, family that runs it. And look at our view while we're having breakfast. Beets toast. <laughs> mm. I also think I booked this accommodation perfectly. If you ever happen to come here, there's not too many stairs to stay here. And there's a bus stop right out the front, which I didn't even know, but it's perfect. There's three restaurants within walking distance because the only transport is the bus, which was a journey. I'm just gonna take the whole thing. I've got, I'm feeling better. I've got a full tummy. We're gonna be on the boat all day and I just, I don't wanna be sick, basically. And the little Italian radio on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good money. My mum and dad. Mm. Can you hear the bells? It means it's 8 a.m. here in Positano. We're waiting for our bus. It's so cute. I love this place. It's so different without all the people here. So this is the main beach. Where we were yesterday was not the main beach. That was the smaller one. But this was so crowded. I'll show you later when we get back. It's 8 a.m. now, so it's quite early. Okay, we have to go back at 8.20. They'll explain the trip and the process. I'll show you guys who we booked it through. They were really easy to deal with. I just booked it on WhatsApp. And a little word of advice, I've realized that it's probably cheaper for you to book stuff like this when you get here because I looked on booking and it was like super expensive and very unreasonable, but these guys were super cheap and then they said if I pay in cash, it would be cheaper. So I recommend doing that. Positano, all the way over there. Yeah. No, you should come in here. I'm alright. 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 The whole coast that we have just been sailing through is Amalfi Coast, obviously. We've stopped in little suburbs along the way and now we are going to Amalfi. I booked Positano because I looked at Sorrento, I looked at Amalfi, and look, the price points are probably very similar. Sorrento is a little bit cheaper. Sorrento is on the other side, we're not going past it today, but I just thought Positano would be cuter and where I, Picked. like the accommodation was perfect for all those reasons I said earlier so oh we're going down here there is the Emerald Cave ah. the Emerald Cave you pay 10, 10 euro each person to, to visit the lemonade is very nice so I drink this one now I'm gonna make this trying the lemonade For lunch today, what's wrong with that? Oh, it's a bit hot, we just walked. The fans, look at the tiles, so pretty. My plate has dogs on it. Is that not a sign from Franklin? Mum got gnocchi, we're gonna have it, we're gonna share. Dad, my lunch, lemon. Having a quick dessert break. We got lemon sorbet, cannoli, and tiramisu. We're going to share. And we got two packets of those lollies that we love. Now we have to go back and catch the bus. If it's not too packed, I'll show you it. 
might be packed there. I'm going to fill your will be. In the bus. Wish us luck. We are back. I have just been doing some work and I also changed the back end of our trip. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to Spain. We're going to Spain now. We're just having some pistachios because it's been really nice here and this would be our last swimming spot. And I just wasn't prepared to give up swimming. No, me either. So last minute trip and then I replied to my YouTube comments. You guys are loving the Europe vlogs, which is cute. I love making them could be a full-time travel vlogger. I'm happy to appear in them and join her on her journey around the world. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling better because I'm, I'm staying on top of my um... meds. Mm. Mm. These are good nuts. Mm -hmm. But I will be trying a lemon channel regardless tomorrow. Yeah, I think we have to. So, so pretty. Mm. A simple pleasure in life. In Europe, on the balcony, eating nuts with this bloody view. Showered, I tried to tidy up my hair, but I didn't wash it because I'm going back in the water tomorrow, so who can give two shits about doing that? Personally, not me, I know it's salt water, and I was just complaining about the salt in Greece, but whatever, I can't be bothered. I feel like my cares have gotten less and less as I've continued on this traveling journey, but not wearing makeup either because I wore it at the wedding. And again, I thought my face looks better without it because I've been wearing it less on this trip. So just rocking the bare face, wearing this dress tonight from Princess Polly, drying my bikinis, and of course, stunning Positano. So beautiful. Dad's saying because no one has physically tried to pickpocket him, he doesn't need the bag. Oh, look at that cat. Without realizing that the reason he hasn't been pickpocketed is because he has that bag. No, it's because I look mean and no one wants to touch me. Mm, I don't think you look mean. Yeah, you're my daughter. You're biased. <laughs> you're not You're not scary, Dad. <laughs> you take a picture of me and Mum? Sure. <laughs> so cute. There's a bride and a groom. Another, we've seen people get married everywhere. Okay, so we're in this restaurant and then out of nowhere, all these bugs up here, like little mosquitoes, like hundreds. Oh, pizza. Thank you, we're gonna share. Oh man. Anyway, they had to turn off the lights because of the bugs and now I'm scared we're gonna eat them on our pizza. Okay, they put the lights back on. The bugs have not come back, but we've already eaten. I've never been so stressed. Oh, they're gone. The bugs are back, the bugs are back. Anyway, we ate our dinner and we ordered our dessert to, to go because it's packed. I had so much anxiety eating that I was so eating the bugs and we couldn't even put my, I couldn't even put my phone light on because I kept going to my phone light. There were so many, it was like a swarm, an infestation. <laughs> we got our takeaway tiramisu. We'll give you a taste test in a second. The disease girls share. Better than that, sir. I can't taste anything. Oh. I'm so disappointed. Oh, uh, I'm lucky. Why are you getting all the chocolate oh, pieces? Look at this. Mm. I just got one. You got one? Mm. <laughs> no more? No. Mm, I like this. Would have been better to eat in the shop. But the bugs. I think the cream from last night was better, but everything else was better. Closer than last night. Close. All right, I'm gonna say good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. We have another full day here, so we'll see what we get up to. See ya. Good morning. Why do I sound like I have an accent? It's 7 a.m. Mum and Dad are already awake. Let me just give you a Positano view. Also, low key, I reckon I booked too many days here between you and I. If you ever come here, I reckon two nights max because we've got another full day. We leave tomorrow, so there's not a whole lot to do unless. You want to have multiple boat days. I did also try to book like a cooking class today, but 
they're very far away like in the other parts of the Amalfi and it's just one road in and out and it's gonna be too hard for us to physically get to. It's fine directly in Positano because we've got the bus route but bus route, bus route, I don't bloody know. Anyway, we're staying put today, we're gonna have a beach day but here is stunning Positano. It's just so picturesque before everybody wakes up and it's so chaotic but just stunning. We are now going to head to Brecky, going to the beach again. So just wearing this today. I'm going to wear these kinis because they dry the quickest and we're leaving tomorrow. I don't want them wet in my bag. And I mean, it looks bad with the dress, but the dress will come off when we get there. And we're going to go eat. The sun is coming out. These are actually not too bad to wear, by the way. I thought I'd give my feet a change from the Burks. Mum saving the day with the coffees. We're doing pancakes again. I'm gonna do lemon and sugar. I'm gonna try and cut this up. Let's show you how I go. I'll let you know. Very juicy. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I'm doing lemon and sugar. Oh, so good. Everyone, he's on the pancakes this morning. Oh, you did the blueberry. Mm -hmm. It's nice. We're walking down to the beach. By we, it's just mum and I today. Dad has sore legs, so he's resting. It's very hot, it's 8.30 and it's already so hot. Okay, we are like the first people here. I feel like as Aussies, we're early risers, but there is literally like not many people out here. We got a seat right at the front, See which ya. we love. Bye, mum. And we're gonna go into the water now. Beach snacks, we have chips and some water. These are good chips. Mm. We're catching the water taxi to the other beach. We're gonna go get some lunch and then go back to the room. It's very, very hot. We've been in the shade the whole time, but it's like a bit unrelenting today, which is fine. But I think I'm all beached out right now. I've asked her to make her favorite. So far, I just see the tomato going in. Secure the paninis. So good, look at that. It's got tomato, basil, cheese, prosciutto. Oh, I need to dig in. And now we're at the bus stop waiting for our bus. I just bought a 180 euro ticket. This will take us home. And I need a cold shower. I'm like dripping sweat. We are about to head off to dinner. I haven't really vlogged on this camera all afternoon because I've just been chilling and relaxing and I'm watching the Greek vlog right now. And oh my god, I was so sick. I forgot how shit I felt. It's so funny watching it back. Anyway, we're about to head to dinner. I've been sitting here thinking, oh my god, I'm so hungry. Like, the time's passing. Mum had a shower. I'm, I'm thinking, why is everyone taking so long? It's literally 20 past 8. And then I'm like, what are we waiting for? And they're like, we're waiting for you. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. I'm going to have a shower when I get back. I can't be bothered right now. Also, the illness, the mystery illness, just got dad. So No, I'm fine. I'm a machine. You are, you are. Mm. I've clipped my hair for now. We will wash it when we get back. Still in the same dress. Haven't showered, but it's okay. No one cares. I don't care. Mum's the only one who is fresh and clean mm -hmm. and showered. And, ready to go. and how are you feeling? I'm feeling better today, thank you. I'm still a bit mm mm, but m much better than yesterday. I feel alive. Yay! I'm just in time for Rome. Yes. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's so windy to the point things are flying everywhere. Oh, I'm not going. I'm staying in my line. There's no footpath, right? So as long as you're in the line, then I think it's fine. Anyway, it's so windy. Our last night in Positano. We're gonna go back to have dinner. 
if we can get a table at the place where we first had dinner. This is the only way I can show you how windy it is, by looking at the leaves. <laughs> Somehow we got a table in here. Every, the whole restaurant is packed. No one is outside because it's so windy. But I wish we had of he's like playing he's playing an instrument and singing. Anyway, we are walking to the pharmacy. It's really hot and it's really windy. And we're going to see if we can get some stuff for dad. He's so funny, he's like trying to pretend that he's not sick, but I'm like that is actually not helping you. You need to tell us what's wrong so we can fix it, you know? But he's like, I don't get sick. He's got the exact same symptoms. That me, that I had and then mum had and it's been like a domino effect. It took me down first, then it took down mum and now it got him. And to be honest, I thought it would get him a lot quicker because we've been in the small confined area. rooms together. We found the pharmacy, but it is closed. I'm going to jump in the shower, wash my hair and go to sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We just had a mild incident in the room where a bug fell into my boobs and then I screamed and it was a fly. And everyone thought I was overreacting, but I wasn't. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We're going to Rome today, and I'm excited about that. And we need to pack up the apartment, have some brekkie, and get in our transfer. So let's not waste any time. We're not in a rush today. The flight's not till later, but it takes quite a bit of a drive to get from here back to Naples Airport. So I'm just allowing for some extra travel time. Showered, nearly packed. Going to have a brekkie. Here is the vibe. Good morning, cutie. How are you? <laughs> My last breakfast here, and I got a slice of this because look at how yummy that looks. It's like an apple cake. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm Aww. excited. I'm gonna have pancakes, and I'm gonna do a lemon and sugar on them. So good. The lemons are juicy here. I just can't believe how much juice comes out of them. Australian lemons are so dry. Mm. I've made such a mess on the It's not. Now to pack up and sort out bags. Also, realizing that I favor the white bags over the black ones and these have been okay they were the ones from Bellini I ended up wearing them here a couple of days and nights not as comfy anywhere near as comfy but they're holding up in terms of like quality packed we're not checking out till 11 we have a driver coming to get us at 11 30 which is perfect timing but we are going to the post office here and we're shipping some stuff back to Australia because we maybe packed too much <laughs> so many little pretty nooks and crannies when you walk away you haven't walked we walked here last night that's where the man was singing that restaurant oh yes yeah and our this man is just there, I think. There's no footpath either. <laughs> so that cost us 140 euro, which is like 230 Australian dollars. But it had to be done and I did check how much it would cost to add another suitcase. It wouldn't have been worth us doing that for every single flight moving forward. So we actually kind of had to do it and it was more cost effective to do it that way. But it was 10 kilos as well, which I actually think is quite reasonable yeah. considering it's going with like FedEx. Anyway, fingers crossed it actually gets there because he wrote... Don't say that. Oh, 
Oh my god, don't say that. It'll get there. <laughs> Waiting for our driver. We're about to check out. We're going to do a review of these on TikTok. Salted caramel M&Ms. I don't think we have them in Australia. Mum's just checking before we give false information. <laughs> I, I personally don't think we do. I don't think we do either. Oh, we don't? Yeah, see? You've got to buy it like through duty free. Yeah. Can you get caramel? I don't think you can. Yeah, they say limited edition. I reckon, I reckon it's all right. These are good. The caramel is hard. So good. I rated them a 10. And I would do an order online to try and find them somewhere in Australia because we can't obviously take this back as we have opened the packet. But I think we might leave it here for the receptionist because she's so beautiful. We gave her some snacks and stuff before as well. All the stuff we bought that would have gone out of date or whatever in the fridge. Waiting for our driver. We just got checked out and we hugged Amalia. She was so beautiful. Oh, I I'm might sorry. be in the way of people taking their pickies. Sorry. We are back at Naples Airport. I should have really booked a flight. However, when I looked at transport options, I saw the hour flight and I was like, oh, that's like flying from Melbourne to Sydney. So I thought it was okay. Anyway, the good thing is, there's Mac is here. So it's been a blessing. I'll show you what we ordered. I got a double cheeseburger. Mum got a double cheeseburger. And Dad got... And they don't have Big Mac sauce to dip in. A Big Mac, yeah. And this is their sweet and sour sauce. I didn't know that they would have it, but they do. Anyway, I'm quite happy to have this. Well, looks of it, not... Because I really have missed McDonald's so much. It tastes different, but mm, I'm happy. We are at the gate, we're just waiting to board. I had a quick look online for like the cost and price and situation with the train. Last time I came here, I was on a Kentucky or a top deck and they organized all of that and it was buses, I think. So yeah, I didn't really do my research properly and I mean, I booked everything myself, so it's a lot to organize an international trip. But let that be a lesson. If you ever happen to come here, there is a really good high-speed trade network that you can get from place to place. I did have a look to see if we could do the train. It's not worth it now because I've already paid for the flight and the transfer. And I know now for next time. We are in a room. The worst possible thing that I thought would never happen has happened though. We're sitting there about to board. I get a text from the Positano accommodation saying, Adele, you left something in the hotel room. I'm gonna put the text on the screen. That's my retainer. Anyway, so that was just a sports team that walked past me and every single one of them was hot. Anyway, that's made me flustered. But my mum checked the room last and I said, please do a final check because I'm doing the checkout and had to settle the bill. And I didn't go back in there to do a final check and the retainer was on my bed. And I know what it would have looked like, so I should have just done the final check of my bed. Anyway, a little bit annoyed at my mum, but it's not her fault. I just have to process and let it go, because, yeah, it's going to ruin my day. Anyway, it's going to be like 12 days without a retainer, or like 10 days, which is the longest I'm not going to wear it for. And I'm low-key freaking out that my teeth are going to move. I honestly almost would have rather left anything there. When I say anything, I mean laptop. I mean makeup. I mean, not the camera, but anything but the retainer. I've got two spare ones at home. She did offer to post them back to Australia, but I'm like, it's not worth it because by the time it gets there, I'll probably be home and I've already got two spare ones there next to my dentist. So <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna try and actually go to the chemist though and get like a mouth guard to see if I can get that because I still grind at night and I can't have a sore jaw or have that happening while I'm away. It's gonna be all right. We're in Rome. We're just walking to the hotel. I'll show you when we get there. We have just checked in and the room is cute. This hotel is cute, but look at the situation. <laughs> That's on my bed. Anyway, it's giving very old Roman, which I love, like history. Take us back. Check out the view. This is at our window. This side, the streets down there. Yeah, it's an old building. I'll show you the front. Here is the bathroom. Bathroom's also really nice. Love this. 
All right, we're gonna go have dinner because it's 6 p.m. or 6.30. This is the hotel from the front, very cute. We're gonna book an Uber now and go get the best, what do you call it? Cabanara or cacio e pepe. It's hot, very hot. It's not too bad. Oh, I missed you, bro. I missed you. We are just now walking to Tonarello. That's where we're going for dinner. It was a recommendation by our taxi from the airport, which is not meant to be as touristy, but there's still lots of tourists. And he said it was like more authentic Roman food and told us to order the carbonara and cacio e pepe. I'm gonna get both of them. Okay, the wait for this restaurant is like 40 minutes. Anyway, we're in the line, we've moved a little bit. It's hot, apparently it's worth it. At least the vibes are good. Mum's got her fan happening, her Positano lemon fan, which we love. We got a table after only half an hour away. Thank you, Mum. We have to get a pasta. Okay, here we are. Cheese, some have potatoes. <laughs> 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 Mum and I are sharing both of these. Do you want to hold the handle? Dad got the meatball. Yum. <laughs> I'm not usually a carbonara girly. What do you reckon? It's pretty good. No, I reckon mine's better. Really. Dinner was good. I'm just gonna have a quick shower and go to bed. I am stressing because I can already feel my teeth moving. I'm so committed to that retainer that the thought of not wearing it for the next 10, 11, 12 days is actually causing my chest to like seize up and feel full anxiety. <laughs> I know I need to calm down and relax. I've spiraled a little bit on my Instagram story. Hopefully I don't wake up with a sore jaw tomorrow. We'll find out. But yeah, I just don't feel very good. And I'm annoyed at myself for forgetting it. But it is what it is. I just have to start to accept it because I can't do anything about it right now. Maybe I'll feel better after sleep. It's been a long day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are going to head down to the Trevi Fountain, hopefully before the tourists go, but it's already late. So there's probably going to be so many people there. Anyway, here's the outfit and we are heading off. Let's go. No one is awake yet. It's so interesting to see the streets so quiet. Buffet breakfast time. They love their carbs here, but I don't mind. I'm actually going to have some yogurt and some muesli because I'm craving that. And then I might also come back and have some fruit over here because it looks nice and fresh. We'll share these. I had to. I look. I was. I had to. I had to try them. And if you know, you know. <laughs> have to say, I'm quite impressed because they heated our milk up like they fully frothed it. And it tastes so much better. And this yogurt 
So good. Feels good to have some fruit. Mm. <laughs> done and now we're off exploring this is the Spanish steps or the Piazza di Spagna and we're about to jump on a bus tour like we did in Paris because it's probably the easiest way to see everything we want we're just here like today and tomorrow properly but getting up early is proving to be oh no 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 hang on hi <laughs> apologies I had something stuck in my suit for a majority of the trip and he just can't push through so he just headed back sat on the bus the whole time and we'll see him later he can go take some painkillers and just rest up but we are going to go to the Vatican and the Sistine Chapel full tourist mode engaged we are doing a 12:30 walking tour in 35 degree heat <laughs> we also had to buy this from the men on the streets because I didn't cover my shoulders, neither did mum. And if you come here, we're doing like the Vatican and Sistine Chapel, you need to cover your shoulders. Rookie error, hot AF. I did pay for the skip the line ticket and it's worth it. I can feel the AC. We're not doing a guided tour. I'm gonna try and guide us to a guide Adele. We love you. <laughs> okay. It is scorching. We made it through the Sistine Chapel. I can't film in the Sistine Chapel because obviously it's the Sistine Chapel, but we saw the painting by Michelangelo. And now we are outside the St. Peter's Basilica behind me. Vatican where the Pope comes out. It's quite grand. I did come here last time. I'm pretty sure I even went in there last time. We're not gonna go in today because it is boiling. But the entire time that I was in there, all I kept thinking about was dad and I'm like, lucky he left because I just checked, we've done 15,000 steps. There were so many small crevices and things like that, just really inaccessible for someone with an injury, let alone anybody not able-bodied. And this whole Europe trip, I've just thought, firstly, I'm always grateful to be able-bodied, but it's just, Europe is so not made for anyone that's not able-bodied, but that was an experience. There's also no toilets in there. So, oh mum. Still holding. Still holding on. We are having lunch at this place now. It's hungry. It's, it's highly recommended to us. And I've seen people come out with their sandwiches and they look so I'm excited. Okay, we got the La Paradiso, but there is no pistachio cream so he still put pistachio and he added tomato for me and I am obsessed we're gonna dig in now this is 20 out of 10 much better than the one that we had in Positano <laughs> if you happen to go to that sandwich place if you ever come to Rome keep walking down the street you'll see a fountain which is behind me that's a drinking fountain you can get some water there but there's also the Pantheon, which is right behind me as well, which is, or well, was like a temple built for worship. And then I believe some kings may be buried in there. Don't hold me to that. I'm not a history person, but I came here last time. I did go in there last time. It is very grand. The camera is not doing it justice and it is scorching. I think mum and I are gonna do some shopping now. I'm in the Zara in Rome with mum. It is one, two, three, four levels. Let me show you. Insane. 
The shine on my face is not highlighter, it's pure sweat, just so you know. I actually can't try anything on because I'm that sweaty. I feel like it would stick to me, which is going to be nasty. So I'm just going to eye shop and see if I can find something I like. Loving denim in here. Zara actually had way cuter stuff than what I thought. And so I'll show you what I got. This is not from Zara, this is from the chemist. An exfoliation glove because, can you see that? My back is peeling very brutally. I got very badly burnt the day before the wedding and it's peeling now. So I need to get all the dead skin off. I also did a trip to the chemist. I woke up this morning and I think it's because I was stressing about it, but my teeth hurt because I was clenching so hard. So I just need something to stop that. I know that that's not going to provide any uh, tension or like retention in my teeth because there's no tension in these. This is purely just for the grinding, which I think I need anyway. So I'll have that. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I have to boil it in water, which is a little bit annoying. Some kind of medicine for mum. No idea what that does. I also got a brand new moisturizer because I was very organized and I'm so upset because I love this one and I'm the only one that packed body moisturizer and my mum and my dad have been using it and it's empty. So, I had to buy a new one and this was the only brand I recognized in the pharmacy. Wish they had Dove, wish they had Vaseline, but anyway. And then the beautiful lady at the pharmacy packed in samples. She was so sweet. She gave me all these samples for free. We've got a Hydra Serum, we've got a Defense Age, we've got a Tinted Gel Cream, like a what do you call it? Tinted moisturizer. We have a Skinergy Cream Revita, Revita Lift. Mm -hmm. Triple Effect Serum. All oh, this is like aging. Maybe she thought I was looking old. Anyway, thank you to the lady at the pharmacy. And then from Zara, this is so cute. I got myself a little vest to be worn as a top. I'll show you how I style this maybe in Venice. I think I'll wear that. And then I just bought some plain, plain, plain tops that cover my back because everything else exposes my back and I feel like people are staring at it. So I just got a white singlet with a high back and a nude singlet with a high back. I usually wouldn't wear this colour, however, my skin is very tan so I feel like I can get away with it. And that's my haul. I now need to shower and get ready for dinner because we're going out for dinner with my auntie and uncle. They're actually in Rome. I didn't realise we would have a crossover, but we're going to go out to dinner together and I can't wait. We're back at the Trevi Fountain. I have to bring Dad here. Just look how many people there are. This is your sign to come at 6am because there is so many more people here than this morning. Also, I haven't showered. I'm still sweaty. I'm going to have a shower later, okay? <laughs> Trevi Fountain by now. <laughs> Cannot even tell you how badly I'm sweating. We just walked home from the Trevi Fountain. We had dinner near there. I need a shower so badly. Good morning. We are off to the Coliseum. Last night we were also tired. I literally passed out. We we walked quite a bit and <laughs> we were exhausted. But let me show you our breakfast this morning. I love the breakfast here. I think it's probably one of my favorite breakfasts that we've had on the trip. You already know we have the Nescafe. I feel like people are like, can we just have hot water and milk? And they look at us like, why do you want that? And it's obviously for Nescafe. Yogurt and muesli and these beautiful sweet buns. They are fresh. They just got, did you get one, Dad? Nah. Oh, they're so good. I and then sure. this yogurt. I have strawberry. Mum, show me your one. She had mixed berry. How good is this yogurt? Delicious. And Daddy's waiting for egg. Yeah, and bacon. Nice. Oh, that's a cute picture. Wow. That way. Smile. <laughs> We're doing an express tour because where's dad? Dad's coming with us and we just want to keep it, you know, not too much walking for him. And 
Mum has not been inside the Coliseum, so I'm excited. No, I've seen it from the outside last time I came back. Look at how she's got her earplugs. <laughs> In preparation. Headphones, not earplugs. <laughs> They're mini ones. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We got three mini ones. They were three euro each, I think, or maybe 250. And oh yeah, 250. And this is the best tiramisu I've had in my life. It's from two sizes, and I agree, it is the best in town. I'm very sad that it's finishing. <laughs> The best. I'm so happy we came here. Me too. And now we are at this pizza place. <gasps> they got paninis. This place is cute. Jackie Falgate recommended this to us. Like she recommended to me personally, she didn't, but I'm very keen to get this into me. Grazie. Grazie. I'm so excited to eat this pizza. You have no fucking idea. Alright, we're sharing these. They're divine. I've just had the potato one. It's got potato and rosemary. Oh my god. Oh mm. Yum. This is very similar to what we had in the panini yesterday. I think our time management has been great this morning. We're now back. We're going to check out. Freshen up. I'll be dreaming about that pizza until I die. I'm so glad that we went there. And the teddy was sore. Both food places this morning were... Chef's kiss. Went in the Colosseum today for I the first I am so time. glad I went. I'm not worried about the other stuff I met, missed, but the Colosseum was so educational. Yeah, a lot of history. And just seeing the history, it's how crazy. they were so rich, and they went to poor, and then yeah. Yeah, social class. Yes. Some things haven't changed. I mean, we obviously don't um, kill each other for entertainment anymore, but here's a quick little food check. I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna do the final check of the room, so we don't forget anything. This is the current state of the hotel. We have to check out in 30 minutes, but I feel like it's gonna, mum's the most organized. This is my shit show, but I feel like it's gonna be all right. And that's a wrap, goodbye to this very cute hotel. I reckon someone goes down with the bags first. We have checked out, we are off to the airport now. We're flying to Venice. When I get to the airport, I'll give you guys some thoughts about yesterday versus today and like what I think is worth it and what isn't worth it and the best way to get around and how to see things because I got many thoughts. Again you could catch a train but the flight is about an hour, the train was about three so I'm gonna stick with it. I slept in that Uber, I'm waking up. We've gone through security they have a working area in this airport. It's actually a huge room airport. We're trying to find some food because mum is hungry. We are at the gate. We are about to start boarding. It's such a long walk. Dad, I think, is still walking. <laughs> but the thoughts I had about Rome was 
do not do the hop on hop off bus tour. We did it with sightseeing city Roma and all the bus stops were so far away from the landmarks and I only had Paris to compare it to but in Paris it was better because it would actually drop you off at the location. I hope you can still hear me. Anyway, unfortunately for us we still had to walk so far between the bus stop and the actual spot and I booked the bus because I thought it'd be better for dad but he ended up bailing on us anyway so I regret buying those tickets. Don't buy them if you're coming. Your best way to see Rome is on foot. If it's too far, catch an Uber or get a taxi, just hail a taxi. That's how we got around. The other thing I was gonna say as well is that when you're booking tours and things like that, I booked it through booking.com. I then booked a couple through Via Tour and I had a really bad experience, especially in Vatican City. It was okay, but I wouldn't do it again. And I personally don't know if I would even come back to Rome. I love the food, but yeah, I just felt a little bit unsafe in like the touristy places because there was like hagglers around as well and the ticketing system that I booked it through to get that Vatican City tour just seemed real like dodgy vibes. It was giving like fire festival energy. The tour we did today for the Colosseum was organized through booking.com and that was a little bit better. And so I'm gonna stick to booking directly through that because they use very reputable suppliers. Whereas via tour, I don't think is too good. So learn from my mistakes. And then lastly, just to reiterate, if you are coming here, just get around by train. I think that's the easiest way. Don't be like me and book flights. But I thought I was doing the right thing with my parents. Anyway, time to get on the flight. Oh, mum, what'd you buy? <gasps> no, oh, she found them. We've been looking for these. These are like Italian twisties. Oh, pistachios. And they're, they're not broken. No shells on those ones. Yes, I love you. What did you get? You know, I love hazel. Oh, look at that. Bachi. Look at that. Bachi. Bachi. <laughs> and then we've got one of these. Oh, hazelnut. Yeah, hazelnut all the way. We have aborted. We'll see you soon in Venice. Our bags came straight off. Quickest they've ever come off, I reckon. Where's mum? They're so easy to spot. Mine, dad's. We just don't know where mum's is. We are just on our way to the water taxi because the airport is out of the main canal area of Venice. And we're in another large van. We have to get a water taxi now. We are here. Mum is freaking out. No, don't move. Stay seated. He was very serious about the balancing of the weight. So oh, no one moved. No one moved. See, that's a gondola ride. We're in a water taxi. Oh, no. Gondola over there. Gondola. Okay, we have just checked into the Venice accommodation. It's really cute. Wait, let me flip you around. So this is where I'll be sleeping. Hello, mum. Hey. Up here. I love how it's like exposed, but better yet, check out the view from in here. It's definitely hot. It's nighttime as well. It's nearly eight o'clock. And this is our view from outside the room. Canals are right there. You can see a gondola going past. <laughs> it's really cute. We also have another window that looks out and another window. These cute old suitcases and then a little kitchenette. Let's suss out the, ooh, mini bar's going off. Mini bar doesn't have any Coke, no sugar, but they do have some vodka. <laughs> okay, well, mum and dad, not impressed with the temperature in here. I haven't, I didn't notice it, but we're now being <laughs> moved. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait till you get Dad's like show. Amsterdam 2.0. All right, well, are, are they coming? Are we going? Yeah, no, he's coming. Okay. Look at the picture. Oh, I was wondering why you guys left me up here. <laughs> <laughs> Another room tour? What the hell? It's a bigger room. This one is very fancy. I'll show you the view in the morning. That's my bed, apparently. Are they going to make it into a bed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but let me show you the bathroom because I don't know if I showed you the bathroom in the other one, but it's massive. <laughs> it's like 9 o'clock, though, and I just want to, like... Is that a Dyson? <gasps> it has a Dyson <laughs> hair dryer, sorry. That's like a $700 hair dryer, okay? Anyway, it's late and I just wanna eat and go to bed. It's been a big day today. We've been in Rome and now we're in Venice and it's late. I'm ready for bed. Oh, but cute 
Little mirror here for a fit check. Wardrobe, wardrobe, wardrobe. Another mirror. Mom and Dad. After a hot sweaty day, such a treat. This shower is nice and big too, and check out the massive shower head. It was 10 out of 10. Done my skincare, I've brushed my teeth. I'm feeling a little bit emotional tonight and I realized I'm like a week out from my period, so that's great. Missing Franklin, missing my retainer. Anyway, we have a big day ahead of us tomorrow too, so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. I've showered. Here is the vibe today. We're gonna head down and get some brekkie. This is the floor that we're on. It's giving palace. Tiny little elevators. Okay, we're at breakfast and I think we just pick what we want. I'm assuming. I think I'm gonna go for Greek yogurt with homemade granola, fresh fruit and honey. Been loving that or the French toast down here was like calling my name. Anyway, they came and gave us some pineapple too. And Interesting. I love the plate. The mug is so cute today. They've come and given us some sweets, some bread. Love this. Is this not giving my breakfast back at home in oh, summer? It really looks cute. It looks the same. Also, I nailed the coffee ratio in this big cup. I'm really happy with that. We've been picking at the croissants and cookies and the toast that they gave us and everything has been really yummy. This is the Piazza San Marco, the main square here in Venice. The last time I was here, I took a photo right here and I was surrounded by pigeons. <laughs> Mum and Dad, so beautiful. I nearly just fell over. We've walked down to the Rialto Bridge now. We left dad at the meeting spot because he had enough walking. These are like the two main attractions here in Venice. And there's also like a little port here. I think it takes you to the airport or to other areas. There's a little speckle on the camera. I'm trying to clean it, but I don't have the cloth, so I'm sorry. Look at this. Thank you so much. I have one at home. I haven't seen him for so long. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is our gondola private tour lady checking us in. We're in a gondola. The weight, the weight is not equal because look at it. Look, we're dipping to the bloody right. I'm stressing. If we drown, the, the camera will be going down with us. So lovely to know you. We have a traffic jam or a water jam, should I say? A gondola jam. We also hit the one in front of us. <laughs> the Zara is so much better overseas than what it is in Australia. I just want maybe like some dresses or tops. Ones that I can wear in Aussie summer too. But they actually have quite a bit of winter stuff, I noticed. So far I also think Zara Paris has been the best and I'm glad that we're finishing the trip there because I will be going back. Mum and I are going to get matching PJs. I'm going to get the chalky colour and she's going to get these ones. They're quite cute and light and I feel like we both need PJs anyway because we're onto our second pair and we need to do some washing so we're going to pop those on I think tonight. Dad got tiramisu. Give us a taste test. No, just on the outside. 
so good. I'll start at mine. Enjoy. Cheers. 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 We couldn't leave Italy without getting a gelato. And the strawberry is the best. Okay, we are back from our exploring around Venice. We did some shopping. I can't show you this because it's been tightly wrapped up, but I got Carla a present and it's just a little thank you because obviously she's been looking after Franklin and I really appreciate it and I think she will love what I got her. I'll show you that whenever she opens it. And then we went into H&M and Zara and mum bought this really pretty dress from H&M. It looks so nice on her. And then we obviously bought the pajamas, as I said. So I got the brown and mum got the khaki. Cute. And then I also bought a phone case. How cute is that? It's nice and metallic and purple from H&M. So successful shopping haul, I'm gonna say. We have checked out. We are waiting for our taxi. It's a water taxi again. So it's literally water out there, which <laughs> mum just loved it yesterday. <laughs> Back in the water taxi. Goodbye, Venice. Bye. Bye, Venice. Another transfer. Oh. We are now going to Treviso Airport. It's the other airport in Venice because that was the only way that we could get to the next destination, which is Spain. And I will wrap this vlog probably when we land there because I want to show you this airport and show you Ryanair. I'm very scared to fly with them. They were the only ones that had a flight, so RIP to us. <laughs> we are here. It's a very small airport. Welcome to Treviso Airport. Here they come. Hello! Cute little airport. <laughs> oh, our plane is late. We made it through security. We made it through the little control thing where they check your boarding pass. We just got some snacks and some fresh water. There's 11 gates in total, so it's a very small airport. But it hasn't been as bad as what I thought. I've just ordered some pizza from here. It looks really good, so I'm excited. Not bad for airport pizzas. I'm not gonna eat my crust. I think I might eat this one next. We have finally made it on the plane. It's hot, it's sweaty, but we are in the front row. <laughs> so we're excited. We have landed in Mallorca, or Palma de Mallorca. We weren't actually meant to come here, we were meant to fly to Lisbon today, but instead we have changed up the back end of the trip because we wanted to explore some more hot destinations and have some more swimming. I am gonna wrap the Italy vlog up here. Thank you so much for coming along. I've had the most beautiful time here and I've really enjoyed this part of the trip too. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment, I will get back to you. And I will see you guys next in the Mallorca vlog. Bye.